Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. wife trying to make sure that I'm keeping everything stabilized and organized and keeping peace in my home. Mm -hmm. I don't have time for the whole friends who likes you and who don't like you and which one is offended by this and which one is offended by that. We're, we're busy. Oh, yeah. We're brothers, man. Like yeah. when, the, when we grew up, we would get into hot arguments, like serious, serious arguments and we find in, a, in the same day, yeah. a couple of seconds afterwards. Yeah. Those are your friends. The, your friends are the ones who will disagree with you and argue with you over points because they care about you. Yeah. When Once they start abandoning you, they're ne they weren't your friends at the peak to begin with. Yeah. You've know, you, you even seen it as, as kids, yeah. like when you're younger. like uh, Yeah, you get into a fight with a... Yeah. And, and it happens up to this day. Little kids, they're innocent. And by 6 o'clock, you're eating ice cream together. Yeah. If one has a bloody nose at 2 <laughs> o'clock in the afternoon. Mm. 6 o'clock, you're eating ice, ice cream, cream together. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's no... They're not holding anything in your heart. Yeah, it's they're innocent, you know yeah. what I mean? Social media removes that innocence, and it makes you an addict to a completely different world that's not human. No. You know what I mean? So... Anyway, that's a different topic. Yeah. What happened with you and your your marriage situation? The marriage situations were interesting. Mm -hmm. um, one wife, a Tunisia one, they told me that, well, the father didn't speak any English, but uh, the mother, she seen that the daughter started practicing Islam more when she met me. Mm -hmm. So she wanted me to marry the daughter so bad. Mm -hmm. And she, lied and said that the father gave his permission and to, like, he doesn't speak English so he doesn't see why he would talk to you so they did the marriage and um, when they found Who lied the mom or the mother yeah. the mother and her mm. they were lying about it like mm. lying about what the father was saying because they didn't tell him mm. that I was black mm. they just said that she found somebody and he's helping her to become a better Muslim mm. she's reading more she's like uh, studying more and she's practicing more mm. and um, he was always busy because he worked so many jobs to support his family. Mm. And um, finally, this this um, uh, this fa her father, he found out that I was black. So he started tripping out. But mm. she, we were already like uh, living together, and um, and um, everything was already going according to plan. Mm. And all of a sudden, they were hating on us. Mm -hmm. And he started telling people in Tunisia, they were hating on us, the family in Tunisia, because they have a big name. Mm. And um, that happened for a couple of months. All of a sudden, we get an email from uh, one of our family members in Tunisia saying, oh, we're family, we should always love each other. Um, um, I'm getting married, her uncle. Mm -hmm. I'm getting married and I'm inviting you and your husband. We will accept him. If he's accepted you and you've accepted him, we will learn to accept him too. But spidey senses start tingling. <laughs> I've had a past and I'm black and I know when something sounds too good to be true. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, we got to think about this one. And yeah. I just came back from Qatar. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, I'm not planning on going down there. And I don't think you should either. But mm. I can't stop you. It's your family. Mm. Well, I have to try this. He's very naive. Mm. I have to try this. It's my family. It's, and I, I get it too. Sometimes I'd come home from work and like she'd be crying. And I know she worries about her family. She tries to put on a fake smile, but you can see the redness in her eyes. Mm. So she wants them to accept. And also they start bringing problems to the mother mm. because she was the one who helped it move forward, mm. even though everybody else she knew would be against it. Mm. So they start bringing serious problems to the mother and the mother will take the pain just knowing that her daughter yeah, is happy and yeah. trying to practice. Yeah, of course. But Your mother's love, man. Mother's love. It's un, it's un, it's undeniable. Mm. And um, so they're starting to invite us both to go down to Tunisia. So I said I can't go. Mm. I just came back from Qatar. My parents they miss me and like I need to spend some time with them. And then the uncle he said, but please, if she wants to go, don't stop her. Mm. And I was like, I will not stop her. It's her choice. I'm, not, I'm never going to stop her from doing something she wants to do. Mm. And um, he's like, okay, thank you, Muhammad. And then he started to um, 
write to her and try to push her and push her and push her and then she's like really I think they're gonna accept I think they're gonna accept he wants to encourage he wants to give us a gift and this and that maybe he's going to give us some land like, I don't need land mm. I don't care about any of that stuff mm. I just want you to be safe as soon as she got to Tunisia they stripped the hijab off her head took off her niqab took her passport took her her, her wow. MasterCard wow. took all of her identification and took her to a small little village in Tunis mm. and locked her up in a little house over there. Wow. And she was dis she disappeared for about I would I think it was about five to six months, five mm. to six months. And so they essentially kidnapped her. They kidnapped her, kidnapped yeah. her, and like made her disappear. Mm. So I'm thinking that um, she is gone. Mm. And one good thing that actually came out of that. That was when I learned to truly trust Allah. Mm. That was when, because you know, I used to, you know, I used to use the, ch the childish type of uh, iman, mm. where it's like Allah can do anything, mm. so I'm just gonna ask Allah until He gives it to me. Yeah. And it's like, oh no, Allah, you can bring her back to me. Oh, Allah, you can do this. And I stopped myself one night from crying, and I was just like, I'm being really selfish. Mm. Allah is the one who guided me through all the streets where so many of my friends are dead or in jail. Mm. Allah is the one who kept me alive through all the pro problems and punishment that I was going through. Mm. My babysitter, she was an um, 18 year old white girl, she used to sexually molest us with the neighbor. Oof. Allah guided me through that and that mm. protected me from zina. Mm. For the whole time before I was Muslim, mm -hmm. it protected me from zina and being loose like this because I always had like a shy haya oh, to yeah, it yeah. because like uh, what you went through. And um, I believe that, that, that there was something more and I was like, if I could trust that Allah to protect me from all those different things, why am I not trusting Allah now? So I said, I have to change the way I'm making dua. Mm. And I stopped asking Allah to bring her back. And I started asking Allah, you know what is best for me mm -hmm. and you've always done what is best for me mm -hmm. so if it is best for me and for her and her family for her to come back bring her back and make it easy for her mm -hmm. if it is best for me her and her family for her to stay i couldn't even finish the words because i had to accept, accept the reality mm -hmm. that she might not come back mm -hmm. and i had to say it mm -hmm. and that broke me mm -hmm. but what broke me more is the fact that I was so childish in my Iman, I didn't know how to trust Allah properly. Mm -hmm. So it humbled me. Mm -hmm. And then I had to make that dua and I accepted it from my heart that if she doesn't come back, it's for the best. And mm -hmm. if she does come back, it's for the best. I learned how to trust Allah through that situation. So I let it go and it didn't bother me anymore. I wasn't crying about it anymore. I went on with my life. I could sleep again. I could eat again. Mm -hmm. Clearly. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, six months later, she calls me mm -hmm. and she's like, um, I found the phone. And I was like, what are you talking about? And I was like, I found the phone from the cupboard. They took me here. You have to come to, to, to Tunisia and save me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. It's like, they locked me up in some little village in Tunis and um, they have me in some house. And sometimes in the daytime, they let me watch after like three or four children. There's no phone, there's no TV, there's no internet, there's no nothing, no way for me to communicate with anybody. Mm. And she's like, I can, tell, I can tell you where I am and you just give my name and they'll tell you you'll be able to find me. You have to come. But I knew I, knew I wasn't going to go down there. Mm. And my parents didn't want me to go down there. Mm. If they were going to do that to her, their own family member, what would they do to my black ass? Yeah, yeah. Excuse the language, but I'm telling you, they would have killed me. Yeah, of yeah, course. 100%. Of course. Of course. And, um, and she's a Canadian citizen, right? Is she? No, she was a German citizen. German citizen? Yeah, yeah. German citizen. Mm. And um, I couldn't go down there. And because I couldn't go down there, and I told her, like, I can't, I can't come down there, and I told you not to go. Mm. You chose to go down there, mm. and um, that's your choice. Mm. But I can't, I can't come down there. Because if they're going to do that to you and you're their people, what are they going to do to me? She switched on me mm. and started acting like I was the enemy. You say you love me and you're not willing to come all the way down here. My family was right about you. Wow. <laughs> I was like, what? Mm. Like, are you serious? Mm. Like, they would literally, they're literally going to kill me. And like, I'm alone in your environment. Mm. Your family has a big name. You guys are well-known people over there. Mm. You guys own a lot of businesses, a lot of property. Everybody knows you guys. They could make me disappear like that. And I'm going to come down there and for what? Mm. 
And it's like, you know what? Maybe it's best for you to be with your family. How could you say that? Da, 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 da. He switched on me completely. Mm. But I learned to trust Allah, so I took a valuable lesson from that. And I continued to move forward. There was um, another situation mm. where it was um, a Turkish one. And you never saw her again after that? No, I never saw her again after that. Mm. I did uh, correspond with her mm -hmm. via Facebook, um, I think 10 years later, mm -hmm. when they allowed her to go back to Germany. Mm -hmm. And she made up her mind that, um, that um, she was not going to try to get in contact with me again. Mm -hmm. And um, they, made, they made sure that she was never ever going to get married. Because of that choice that she made, mm -hmm. she was never ever allowed to get married again. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So she got a couple of dogs. She stopped practicing. Na'udhu Billah. She started smoking cigarettes. Na'udhu Billah. She um, started working in a hotel, you know, tight pants, blouse down. Mm. And uh, they destroyed her. But that's how they loved her to be. They don't want you to be a real practicing Muslim. Yes. They just want you to say you're a Muslim and come to the functions and make sure you dress up for Eid. Yes. Yeah. Mm. But you know, they don't want you to actually wear hijab or mm. an abaya or actually read Quran regularly unless somebody dies. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And it's so disturbing. Mm -hmm. It's so disturbing because like they're Arabs. Yes. Like Islam came to you guys. Mm -hmm. Like how do you guys want to shun people and look down upon your own people who want to practice what actually made value to your people yep so i never seen her again we did talk a couple of times and um she seems like she, she she's depressed completely depressed mm. but she tries to just move forward and like focus on the dunya and material things mm. uh, her family won't allow her to get married they said you're not a virgin anymore, so like um, they're not gonna allow you to marry, and they call her a whore and say nobody in the culture is ever gonna want to marry you, and wow. they really broke her down. You know what? In life, nah, uh, uh, don't cover the church by, I, whoa, don't charge the the cover, charge the book, I man, don't don't book the cover, book, I. Don't, whatever, don't do it, just don't do it.